Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is a sewing video. Um, so I decided to make a baby boy, toddler boy, a memory um, teddy bear using using one of his old sleep suits which just seems so, so teeny tiny now. This is one of his newborn sleep suits and it's just like, it just seems ridiculously tiny. I can't believe he ever fitted into it. Um, so I actually have three um, this one is elephants and then there was two more in the set that had lions and tigers um, and I really ended up loving them so much I just thought they looked so cute and I loved him wearing them especially the lion and tiger one and um, so my plan was to use the elephant one and then save the other two potentially um, so uh, you can send away fabric and get people to make you memory bears, which will probably do a much better job than me. But they do cost like £50, pound, £50 plus, which I do understand where that comes from because of the time and the skill. But I just don't want to spend that much money um, on this kind of a project. Um, <laughs> I don't know why, because I'm going to end up probably spending more in terms like, on I spend so much money on junk anyway. But... I decided to do it myself so I was looking for a pattern to use and I ended up buying one online um, which is the A2115 Simplicity pattern um, and it looks like quite an old pattern and I bought it from Etsy and I actually bought the digital download and I don't know why I didn't really think it through but being an old pattern there just wasn't really any chance that this was produced as a PDF at the time. Um, I don't think they even make this pattern anymore but this woman was selling the physical copy and the digital so maybe they do but I'm not sure this is like the American version so I'm not 100% sure it may be still available in the US um, but yeah it, I assumed incorrectly that I would get like the normal type of PDF that you get when the pattern maker has put that together themselves or perhaps got a, another, you know, another company perhaps to make it for them if they're not that tech savvy but this no, what I was sold was just a photocopy of the pattern so that's the pattern, so that's the bear that we're trying to make it's cute um, and it has like a little vest that you can also make to put on I'm not sure whether I will make the little vest I'll have to sort of see what the finished bear looks like and then see if I think it needs it. I think my son might quite like the idea of having a little vest he could maybe take off and put on, but we'll just see how difficult it is anyway. So um, in terms of the pattern being a photocopy, it's not had any negative impact. I've been able to use it just fine. It's working fine for me. But it does seem like it's probably illegal to sell a photocopy of a pattern that you don't own the copyright to. So I didn't realise I was doing this, but I think I may have unwittingly committed a crime or aided and abetted someone else committing a crime. Anyway, I printed out the pattern pieces. Have I got them anywhere? I printed out the pattern pieces at 100% and they're just quite big. So this here is like the body back. And if I'm gonna try and use this sleep suit, um, I just would not be able to get, I would not definitely not be able to get all the pattern, the pieces from the sleep suit. Um, and I could use other fabric to make it up, but I wasn't sure, I just wasn't really sure, I thought it would be too big. So anyway, I then printed it out again at 75%. All of the pattern pieces, because it's quite a simple pattern and it's not clothing, and the pattern pieces weren't like, the pattern wasn't printed overlapping or anything, you know, with the different pieces overlapping each other. So it wasn't a problem to print it out smaller. Um, so it came out like, just find the piece to compare. So 75% it came out quite a bit smaller. I mean, obviously 75% of the original size, but that's just so you can sort of see. Um, and that's what I'm working with. Obviously, the smaller I make it, uh, the less fabric I need, but the more fiddly it'll be. I decided to make a mock-up, so that's actually what this video is for. It's not the real thing, it's just a mock-up. Um, because I wanted to see how it would work and whether it was actually that easy, I mean, it does say on the pattern, it's so easy, but I'm not sure I believed them. Um, so before I cut up my precious sleep suit, baby boy sleep suit, I decided to just use some scrap bits of fabric and make a little mock-up of the teddy bear. It looks quite weird because it's not, I'd not bother to stuff it, so it's just flat. It looks a bit sad, but like, this is kind of 
that's the head and it's got the little ears. Um, I didn't bother doing the eyes or the nose, but the shape of the face um, it is actually just with sewing the pattern pieces together. The, sh the face does have quite a lot of shape to it. The body is two back pieces and two front pieces, and then the arms and legs. And then the legs also have, you can't see it there on that one, um, a foot bottom as well. Um, I think it looks really cute. I actually really like it in this fabric, and I like the pink. I do, like I said, I just used random bits that I had, so it wasn't really intentional. Some bits are pink, um, but I actually think it really works, which made me think that if I, when I make it up uh, in this fabric, I can maybe use a plain, possibly green, although I think that might be a bit too much green, or maybe because there's like sort of some grey in the elephants, I could use grey, and then it would just be kind of a darker, a darker colour scheme. Um, but then, like I said, I do have the orange and yellow matching sleep suits, so I could use those and go for a brighter look. Or I could use a combination of two or all three of those, but I didn't really want to cut all of them up. Anyway, um, I'm glad I made the mock-up. The steps uh, in the pattern are very simple and straightforward. There was none of the steps, there were no steps that I didn't understand. However, it does kind of leave a bit of information out. For example, with attaching the ears and also then the arms and the feet, it tells you just to, so the ears should be stuffed and the arms and legs should be stuffed and then you just baste them on, so the ears were basted on to the like front of the head um, and I just thought, well that's going to look really messy like you're going to be able to see like all of the raw edge, can you see? so gross you're going to be able to see all of that um, raw edge and it doesn't mention the ears again but you do then attach the back of the head to the front of the head and what is supposed to happen is that the ears get caught in the seam so that one there I didn't realize this until I looked afterwards and like that one is pretty neat although not super neat because you can still see the basting thread for the ear um, but this one obviously as I just showed, um, you can still just see all of that raw edge from for the ear um, and it just wasn't caught by the seam it just wasn't caught by the seam when I sewed the front and back of the head together but because I didn't realise that that's what was supposed to happen I, didn't, I wasn't being super careful and also because the mock-up I wasn't being as careful I would have been normally and because I'm doing it at 75% everything's just a little bit smaller and it was just a little bit harder to put through my sewing machine there's some like fiddly bits particularly attaching the head to the body it didn't quite it didn't fit very easily into my sewing machine and so that's supposed to actually when you attach the head to the body you catch the arms so you can sort of see with this arm uh, that's worked pretty well um, but with this arm like it's not it's not fully attached um so that's obviously oh somewhere I'm gonna be careful need to be careful now yes the pattern pieces when you draw them, uh, when you cut them out, do have like circles on them which you can kind of see at the top of this arm piece um, and that is to indicate where bits are supposed to be attached so that circle will correspond to a circle on the uh, body piece. But it's quite hard to find those circles again once you've already started like sewing everything together so some of them might be, I might need to actually mark onto the right side of the fabric rather than the wrong side whereas I always transfer my pattern markings onto the wrong side of the fabric um, and I also thought that I was matching them up but then perhaps I wasn't being um, super accurate with my seam allowance it's quite a small seam it's like a, a small seam allowance it's like a quarter of an inch which seems pretty small to me um, it just makes it a bit fiddly like it's not marked onto my sewing machine easily so I'm, I'm just sort of I was just sort of eyeballing it now like I said I wasn't really being super careful um so it's just something to bear in mind anyway this is the mock-up mock-up little, little bear 
Um, I think it actually came out quite well. It only took me a couple of hours. It will take me longer in the finished version because I'll have to be a lot more careful and be checking it a lot more. Um, obviously once I've done that, once I've done this bit of it, I'll have to stuff it. And then you have to then hand sew um, closed the openings in the back, arms and legs. And I'm not a fantastic hand sewer. So I'll have to make sure that that's not only neat but also strong enough um, that it doesn't just rip open again when um, my son's playing with it. Um, and then I'll have to add the nose and add some buttons or something for the eyes. So I need to look into what I want to use for the eyes. It just tells you to add buttons so I, can, I think I can sort of just pick something. Um, but it might make more sense to add them, makes obviously more sense to add them before you like stuff it and stuff um, and then also decide whether or not I want to make a little um, little vest that, that he would wear looks a bit like a dress like or a key um, but yeah this is my <laughs> sort of finished version of my mock-up and I still have a few decisions to make about how to make the finished version but hopefully I'll be coming soon with a video of how I made the finished teddy bear. Um, let me know what you think in the comments and um, also give me a like if you've liked the video and please subscribe.